No wonder there are so many people calling for SBS to be sold off. SBS consistently proves how irrelevant and unnecessary it is. I mean, in this day and age of the internet, where world news can be accessed in an instant, there's no need for such a government-funded broadcaster anymore. And the bias is there in neon lights. In a recent report, I'm branded as being divisive because I highlight the fact that installing curtains to protect Muslim women's modesty is divisive. It's putting up barriers to supposedly break down barriers. The moral inversion is stunning and it does not assist integration. It encourages apartheid style practices, a separation of us and them mentality. Now this is confirmed in the very same SBS report where a man states one of the reasons for the curtain is so men can control who sees their wives in Australia. Mr Al Zubi said the privacy curtain would allow culturally conservative women to participate and engage socially as well as bringing benefits to those who are elderly, body conscious or wait, whose partners don't like them being seen by other men. Whose partners don't like them being seen by other men? Are you kidding me? This is Australia. This is not okay. And no one at SBS calls out this misogynist, sexist, controlling rubbish. This statement passes without judgment, without comment, without ridicule. And yet it is sexist, misogynist, controlling and oppressive. So today, it's also reported that white, ma white males at a top Melbourne uni are told to behave more like women, to stop acting like white privileged males and apologise for the myth of their so-called privilege. But this Muslim man can say Muslim men are justified in controlling their wives' behaviour? Oh, people, I think we're in trouble. On another note, but staying on the SBS theme, a producer from a company called CJZ contacted me yesterday because she's making a documentary for SBS. Now, this company makes the totally unbiased programs such as Go Back to Where You Came From and Drunk, Dumb and Racist. Totally unbiased, right? She said they're making this documentary that will follow 10 Muslim people around and the point is to debunk myths about Islam. She'd like me to consider being a part of the program in some form, uh, like maybe a debate or meeting Muslims. Well, my view is that they're looking for controversy and are looking to inflame the issue, not debunk myths at all. I am all for reasonable and respectful debate, but I will not take part in sensationalised rubbish that has an agenda and is, made, is all about making a profit at the expense of these sensitive issues. I have met and had discussions with many Muslim people. I have visited Muslim countries. I don't have a problem with talking to Muslims. I criticise the ideology and I will not apologise for that. In the same way people are able to criticise Nazism, Catholicism, Communism or any other ideology. What I won't do is be a pawn for biased and hypocritical media outlets that are hell-bent on shoving their agendas down our throats without giving a fair hearing to all sides. SBS, to me, is irrelevant, it's past its use-by date and is a massive drain on the taxpayer dollar. I suspect their days are limited and I will do whatever I can to expose their rot.